More than 17.5 million students are currently enrolled in U.S. colleges. This month, a large percentage of these students will head to hotspots like South Padre, Miami, and Panama City for a week of fun and partying on spring break. Unfortunately, alcohol and sex can play a large and potentially dangerous role during spring break. A survey by the American Medical Association found that compared to typical college life, 83% of college students agree that spring break trips involve more or heavier drinking, and 74 percent acknowledge that these trips result in increased sexual activity. Additionally, 70 percent of those who attended a spring break trip know friends who were sexually active with more than one partner. These statistics are alarming. Sexually transmitted diseases and unintended pregnancy are two very real risks of having unprotected sex, and these are much more serious consequences than regret. My advice? Don't have sex on spring break. But if you do, make sure you're protected. Both men and women should pack condoms. Latex condoms, when used consistently and correctly, are a safe and effective method of birth control, and they can reduce the risk of sexually transmitted diseases. Dr. Weider says women taking birth control should refill their prescription and, if possible, bring it back up. In the event of unprotected sex or contraceptive failure, there is a backup option that does prevent pregnancy. Plan B emergency contraception is up to 89% effective in preventing pregnancy when used within three days of having unprotected sex. Plan B is even more effective if taken within the first 24 hours, so consider purchasing it before you leave on spring break. Women 18 and older can purchase emergency contraception without a prescription at their local pharmacy.